Hey everyone, I'm James Lewis Jr. I graduated from Phillips Academy in 2017. I'm a power forward and my major is computer information systems. The highlight of the season was winning the Sun Belt Championship. Going in, we were a four seed, so we were seen as like an underdog and we beat a lot of one seeds and ultimately won the Sun Belt Championship, which gave us a automatic bid to the NCAA tournament, which is like a, a lifelong dream of mine. The travel to Indy was a little bit different. We had our own plane and we were spread out along the plane to accommodate the COVID protocols, as well as coming from the airport to the hotel. We traveled in, in three buses, which was a lot different. And that was also to accommodate the COVID protocols. Practice preparation is still the same. We do a lot of film study, studying the other players' tendencies as well as their play. Congratulations on making it to the tournament. My question is, James, do you have any pregame rituals that you do um, to get ready for the game, or do you? Uh, what kind? What, what kind of music are you listening to in order to to sort of get hype before the game? Before a game, I'm usually listening to music. I usually start off with gospel music, then I transition into rap, and I also say a little prayer, and that's pretty much my pregame ritual. Hi, my name is Will McDonald, and I'm a postgraduate here at Phillips Academy. I'm from York, Maine, and uh, a question for me is, well, what is the biggest adjustment that you had to make as a player going from playing in high school to playing in college? Thank you, James, and good luck in the tourney. The difference between high school and college basketball is speed and physicality. It's a lot different than high school. Um, guys are stronger, faster, and you have to adjust to it. The key factors of making my transition successful would be a lot of repetition and also the weight room. I was pretty skinny in high school. So so I had to put on some weight. I would like to shout out T.I. He's truly a mentor to me and he's always been there for me. When I was at Andover, I really didn't know anyone and he kind of got me used to everyone and what to expect when I got there. And I still talk to him to this day.